Recently, Porsche invited the Porsche Club and journalists to test drive and get rides in the new Taycan lineup. And this included the Taycan Turbo GT with the Weissach package, the most powerful production car to date that Porsche has made. I got to drive it on track, but more importantly, I got a ride with Lars Kern, who holds the record for EV at the Nürburgring and Laguna Seca. Let's see what he does. Be sure to log into your YouTube account, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. The car is just nuts. Dress. It's just, <laughs> it makes it look really easy, and yeah, it actually is really easy if you compare it to, to other cars. Um, they're really way more difficult to wheel around. I guess uh, you can talk to our members yeah. and tell them what you think of the yeah. car. Okay, uh, so yeah, welcome uh, on the on the lap in the Taycan Turbo GT, Manny and myself going for one um, yeah glad you guys are big Porsche fans of the Porsche Club America um, thanks uh, for supporting our brand um, again there's a job on lap so we are in a tank mode now you can activate it on the on the right yeah what used to be a gear lever um, or gear pedal um, car really running a Trofeo RS tire now which is like the semi slick version um, puts a little bit more Grip on the front makes the car a little bit more tail happy. That's the tire I used for Laguna Seca in the Nurburgring record. Um, yeah, it was exactly like the balance I want. Um, and also, like we developed the car with this tire, it was like the main tire. Um, so, the delivery tire, the P0R, um, makes the car a little bit more safe or a little bit more understeery. Um, but this is like the real performance tire. So yeah, on this like, you can see you can really trail the car into corners uh, on braking because with the Porsche Active Ride the rear sits down, so you have a really stable rear on entry, and then you can just push it. Um, it I think I don't know what about you, many, but it doesn't feel like 2.2 tons. Uh, <laughs> no, it feels doesn't. way lighter. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the magic in this car um, because from like the concept it's not a sports car it's not a race car but we said we're gonna make one um, and I think it turned out pretty well all right this was it one lap one lap around Seville track uh, Monte Blanco Super. <laughs> Much faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I, I, I used like your cooldown lap is faster than mine. <laughs> it's just because I used different tires, but <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing car, and um, yeah, it's such an event. It's so nice because you you get to get all the reactions of the journalists and people. Sure. Because until now, it was only us driving the car, and we thought it's really cool. But we had no idea what people were going to think about it, and now you get like the feedback, and it's, it's so nice, and it's yeah, it's, it's really good because you know, the package is really nice. Um, it's a lot of fun driving it. Engineering perspective, I think what the car does, it really like moves physics around with the Porsche Active Ride. Um, really interesting, but yeah, I think for every driver, he gets into the seat. I think pretty sure it was the same for you. You get into the driver's seat and it gives you a lot of confidence right away. Um, everybody can drive it. Um, it's not a car built for professional drivers. It's no, it's built very for yes. our customers, yeah. <clears throat> not saying that. I, I had the urge, I kept on having the urge to downshift. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, you can you can activate like different recoup um, levels on the left uh, gear selector and yeah, on the right one, you just, I mean, I really like it because it gives you a little bit more involvement as well um, like I mean in Laguna I used it on every street just constant power 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 but just regular power with so much power that I just activated attack mode just to see what it was like yeah. I, I didn't need it but I you was, felt the difference oh, oh, sure. huge, oh, yeah. yeah. and um, I mean yeah but if you would spend like half a day around here at one point you would be like okay I more can power. use more power yeah <laughs> this is how it always is so I asked for more power as well at the end of the project. I was like, yeah, I could use more. 
it's like that's the that's the maximum we can do. So yeah, made it home before the rain. stable it is uh hardly any body roll even the dipping on the braking and i am braking pretty hard in some of these corners so much so that the abs is engaging this thing stays very very flat and hardly any body movement at all is incredibly planted. I'll tell you what, you can hear this electric motor, motor purring very well. The Mercedes cars are silent because they are not. This is the Porsche Institute at the uh, Slalom, I think, to slow you down so you're not entering this turn one at speeds. They probably don't want you entering, not because of the car's capability, but probably because of their journalist's capability. Okay, fun starts again. <laughs> this thing is pulling enough G's. My back is actually starting to feel it. That's amazing. And yeah, it, it can feel the weight, but it's not like gross. It's not uh, something that you feel like is really limiting the performance of the car. Just something you have to get used to, but certainly nothing that you have to live with in a negative way. I must uh, fight the urge because I have these paddles that are frequently found on PDK cars and uh, and here uh, the plus paddle is for uh, attack mode and the negative is or down paddle would be for shutting it off so attack mode on attack mode off that's pretty much what it's for this car is a, a lot of fun uh, leave it up to Porsche to make a uh, electric car this much fun on the track. Man, that instant power. Oh, that can become addictive very quickly. But you probably couldn't tell because I didn't have my face on the camera that much, but there was a big smile on my face when I got to drive this car. It is really a phenomenal piece of engineering. Which brings to the fact that whether you're an EV fan or not, you have to respect the fact that Porsche has set new standards for EV performance with this car.